Hi, I'm Mary LaCourcier from the Nantucket Historical Association. And today, since it seems like summer might be here for real, not just a teaser, uh, I thought it would be a great day to go out and get in the garden, grab some plant material and show us how to print from this material. It's, uh, there's an abundance of things that we can use. So basically, in printmaking, anything that makes a mark will leave an impression. And plant material is a great thing to use. So um, it's called botanical printing, nature printing, or kitchen table printing, because most of the things that we're gonna use here today can be found in your kitchen. So um, I wanna show you a few things that I have printed to show you some of the, the uh, beautiful things that you can pull out of some leaves. So I've picked a bunch of leaves, and this leaf here is the front of the leaf, and then this is the second printing. So I inked this up, and then I printed it one time, and then I printed it again with the residue that's left on the leaf. This is the front and this is the back. So they give you, on this particular leaf, not too dissimilar, but on some leaves are very different, very uh, distinctive. A lot of the structure in the leaf will show up, the skeletal, the cellular, whatever you call it. If, if I was a biologist, I could explain it more. But you can really see some of the beautiful structure that's inside a plant material. So here's a few things that I have printed. I'm, and these make great cards some stationery. Um, you could do so many different things with this. And this is a perfect project for everybody. So get the kids, get your husband, get your grandparents. Everybody will like to do this because it's really accessible and a lot of fun. So these are actually some weeds from my yard. I finally found a use for them. And I've actually taken and put on uh, several colors at the same time to print them. Um, and then here's another one that I have printed. This is the first printing, and then this is the second printing. And oftentimes that second printing is really what I prefer. It really has so much delicacy and nuance that sort of gets obliterated just for the deposit of ink that you have on there, okay? So just have some fun, and these are some great things. So let me just show you some of the different materials that you use. So you go out in your yard, get some plant material. Um, I actually, you know, anything will work. Of course, like I said, my weeds have been printing up pretty nicely. But a lot of times you want to find, I think this might be a hydrangea leaf. Um, find some leaves, find some material that has some really good bones to it. This has got a lot of veining in it. The back is really great. So take advantage of, of what that structure is. And then, of course, look at this big bad boy. Oh my gosh, what a beauty. It's like velvet. Um, and what an impression that would make, all right? So lo lots of stuff to use, lots of fun. So the things that you can use for the ink. So you can use uh, traditional printing ink that's oil-based. I'm using all water-based here, just for simplicity for every reason but you can also use a stamp pad. Stamp pads will actually work really great. I would demonstrate this, but it's a little dry, so it's not gonna show it too much, but it really shows the leaf structure using a stamp pad, kind of fun. Watercolor is great. So um, what I would do with watercolor is you want to, I've, I've mixed here a little bit of, uh, this is Dawn and water. It's two parts water to one part Dawn, so just a little drop. And what it does is you wanna um, paint that on the leaf first. Otherwise, the, 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 the watercolor won't, it, it'll kind of move around. It won't stay where you wanna put it. And then when I do use the watercolor, I take a little bit of water and I actually make it more like a paste. So I don't want it to be too thin. I want it, I want it kind of pasty. Give it a little body, give it a little oomph. And you can use these and you can mix them on your leaves and print them up the same way that I'm gonna show you. But what I'm gonna demonstrate actually is this other, this is an acrylic paint. It's called Open, made by Golden. And the reason I like this is that it behaves a little bit like printing ink in that it will stay open, meaning it will stay wet for longer than a regular acrylic paint. So I have a lot of time to work with it and it comes in great colors and it's a really easy to use. So it's a really good thing to use just in your regular painting or in this project. The other materials you need is you need a paintbrush. I have a palette here of wax paper. 
use saran wrap and you can also just use uh, a catalog. This is my waste sheet and I have a rolling pin. How about that? The other thing that will work in this case, if you don't want to sacrifice your rolling pin, if you're still baking, um, use a can of soup. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple different techniques to print. So I'm gonna take my weeds. They're, they're good candidates for printing. And actually here, you can see here, so this is my first printing. So I inked up my weeds and then I printed it two more times. Now this time, because of the lighting in here, it's hard to see it, but it's so delicate in person. It's really beautiful and it's actually my favorite. So the lighter it gets, the prettier it is. So there it is. But this, there's some other stuff happening here that I'm gonna show you. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to take this, actually I'm gonna take this one. Here's a nice candidate, little trio of leaves. And I'm going to leave my stem on and I've just peeled that away. I've inked up my brayer and I'm gonna lay it down on my waste sheet here and I'm just gonna ink it up. It's a little tricky because it's small, it's moving around a little bit, not to worry. Just kind of go with it. There's a lot of ink on there, but make sure, get, get like a nice even coverage if possible. And always, whenever you're using a brayer, uh, store it with the, the roller side up. I am going to, this is sort of sticking together here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that aside because I don't want to get it on my card. So I'm gonna take, this is just a piece of paper that I've folded and I'm going to lay this down. So be a little careful. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of paint on there. I, I say ink just because I'm a printmaker. So I'm gonna push that down and I'm gonna take a, this is a piece of wax paper you could use your catalog sheet here too, but I'm just gonna press this down. All right, press it. So now it's actually kind of stuck to my paper and I'm gonna take my rolling pin and I'm gonna give it a good little, little smush. And the beauty of the rolling pin, you can't really hear this, but you can hear the stem kind of crushing underneath. Okay, just give it a couple, couple rolls there. And see, this is why we use a waste sheet because we've got a little residue on there. Let's pick this up and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna print this a couple times. And I've got ink on my thing here. Hold on, I'm gonna use my leaf. Clean off my little thing there. All right, so let's just pick this up. I'm gonna pick it up so we can all see. All right, here we go. Come on off. Doesn't wanna come off because there's so much ink. That's a pretty strong print because there's a lot of ink, which means there's still a lot of ink on this. Kind of cool. And also the best part of this is the stem. The stem had some, has, has juice in it and that actually stained the paper. And I took advantage of that. I love that part. I'm going to take another piece and you could print it again, but I'm just gonna take a brand new piece of paper and I'm gonna lay him down again. Kind of just be a little careful because you wanna make it sure. So you may have to do a couple stabs at this to sort of get your technique down. I'm gonna take another clean sheet, lay it down. And this is really where uh, I want the rolling pin. Now, the first time I could actually just press because there's enough uh, paint on there that I could get away with that. And hang on a second, I see that my leaf has turned over. See, it folded when I put it down, so I'm gonna just lay that flat there. There we go. Take a new sheet and try again. Push that aside. And I can, can you hear the crunch of the leaf of the stem? Okay. So that's got some ink on it. I'm gonna pick this up. Oh, look at that great. Okay, this is, see, it's, it's got a lot of the skeletal structure of the, of the leaf on here. You've got that great stem stain. I'm gonna lay it down one more time and see if there's anything left. I bet you there is. And let it, let it leak onto the back. Why not? Okay, here we go. So how much fun would this be to do with your family? 
make a set of cards and write a letter. You know, it's my favorite thing. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pick that up again. And I don't have as much, but it's pretty, 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 pretty. Uh, it's nice. It's got a lot of the delicates, delicacies of the leaf. And I would explore what's in your woods and what's around and see what other kinds of patterns that you can make. Okay, I'm going to show you a little different technique. I'm going to take this, I think it's a hydrangea leaf, and we're going to take this and I'm going to paint on my paint versus rolling because a lot of you may not have a brayer. So what I like to do is I'm going to take my acrylic here and I'm going to take the, I think I'm going to start with the yellow and I'm going to, I'm going to do the front. And actually I, I kind of did a little yellow and red on my brush. So I have both and just take advantage of it. Just, I don't want to have to do it twice. You know, I'm trying to do things fast and quick. And so just let the paint mix together on the leaf and let it, let just let nature happen. Okay, so I've now I've got, this is pretty juicy. So I think I'm going to, on this one, I'm gonna lay this one down, just like the others. I'm gonna use a clean sheet, like so. Press it down. I feel like I have so much ink on there, I don't wanna use my roller. So let's just not use the roller and see what we get, okay? And let's take this up. Oh, pretty. I don't have a lot of the detail of the leaf, but the color mixing is pretty, pretty fun. So now this next one, I will use the roller. I think eventually all of my cooking utensils end up in my studio because <laughs> they work really well there. <laughs> Everybody's been cooking during this time that we've been staying at home. All I can tell you about cooking in my world is cauliflower as a stand-in for rice or bread. Well, I'm just saying cauliflower is best served with broccoli. That's it. That's all I got to say about cooking. My experiments in cooking didn't work out so well. All right, so I'm going to take this off. You can see I use my utensils better in the studio. And here you go. So now I've got a beautiful leaf here, and I'm gonna print it one more time, just for fun. See if there's anything left, because you never know what you're gonna get. And a lot of times it's nice to print, you know, repeated pattern on the same paper. Just keep going, just keep inking up, print, print your ghost, print, print your ghost, and make a nice big piece of lovely paper. Yeah, and so this is nice. So it's got a little bit of staining from my stem. It's a little bit lighter still, so you see some of the structure in there. So there you have it. Uh, lovely. Get outside, dig in the dirt, find some great plant material and see what it will work and see what you can make out of it. Uh, this is just one of the many things that nature yields us in her in her beauty so there you have it i hope you guys have enjoyed it hope to see what you do on facebook twitter and instagram and uh enjoy this beautiful day because i think summer is finally here thanks everybody Bye bye